Question number two, Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Why, under his Prime Ministership, has the relationship with Australia reached the point where, according to him, Australia is making policies that are detrimental to New Zealanders living there, either without telling us or at short notice? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I disagree with the premise of that question. The relationship with Australia is a very close one. Uh, issues do arise from time to time, and this has happened over a number of years with different governments. For instance, it remains a fact that the biggest reduction of New Zealanders' rights in Australia occurred in 2001 and an agreement executed by the last Labor government. We, of course, are talking to the Australians about the direction of our relationship, our core shared interest, and how these policies can be communicated in order to reduce uncertainty. But I can say that the most recent decision shows the benefits of having surpluses. In New Zealand, Australia has deficits. That's why they're looking to cut entitlements. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Moving 16 years on, has he ever discussed student fees with Malcolm Turnbull before this week's announcement? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, no. I wouldn't necessarily expect to. Uh, the Australian Government, as I said, has significant deficits. It's trying to uh, manage its way to surplus. And as I understand it, they've, New Zealanders in this case are caught up in policies that affect all Australian university students. Supplementary. Supplementary question. Andrew Little. When he specifically discussed the rights of New Zealanders in Australia with Malcolm Turnbull a week ago, did Mr Turnbull discuss the change in student fees with him at that time? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, no. At the time there was discussion about the uh, arrangements related to the extended time to become citizens and with confirmation from Prime Minister Turnbull that the Australian policy change doesn't affect the deal that he entered into last year with New Zealand. And I want to record uh, my thanks to the Prime Minister for that, for that action. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. What representations has he personally made to Mr Turnbull on this issue this week? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, the Government's official position will be presented uh, by the Honourable Jerry Brownlee uh, when he visits Australia tomorrow. I've had informal discussions with Mr Turnbull simply about the nature of the issues. Oh. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. What has happened since John Key stopped being Prime Minister that means Australia no longer seems to notice New Zealanders even here anymore? Oh, rubbish. What a load of rubbish. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, the Australian Prime Minister did come visiting. Um, and. Uh, their, their rugby teams may have noticed being run over pretty regularly in the, um, in the, super, fifth, in the super Rugby. But, Mr Speaker, uh, as the member will, will, I'm sure, appreciate himself, the Australian Government has deficits. It's got its own political decisions, its own political dynamics. Uh, it's not at all surprising they don't consult us on every political decision that they make, nor would we expect to consult them. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Will he secure a reversal of Australia's policy so that New Zealanders over there continue to pay domestic fees as Australians do in New Zealand? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I certainly wouldn't want to raise expectations that a decision made by the Australian Government in the context of its budget with significant deficits is going to suddenly be turned round for a small proportion of the university population in Australia. I wouldn't, would not want to mislead New Zealanders in Australia or in New Zealand that that is likely. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. When will he stick up for the rights of New Zealanders living in Australia and make sure that our reciprocal arrangements with Australia are actually reciprocal? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, we do advocate for the rights of New Zealanders in Australia, uh, but the member may be... The member will, uh, I'm sure, be aware that doesn't give us dis veto rights over the decisions of another sovereign government over what entitlements its citizens have or over determining who is a citizen of Australia. We don't get to decide that. Can we just stick up? Supplementary question... David Seymour. How long has Australia been an independent, self-governing country? <laughs> uh, no, there's, there's no Prime Minister or responsibility for that question at all. No. 
Question number three, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Listen up. Order. Order. I've called the Right Honourable Winston Peters.